Now let's go uh, to the farm field of the electromagnetic fields of the elementary dipole. In this case, uh, the electric and magnetic fields can be approximated by those two expressions, H and E. What's interesting to note that uh, the amplitude uh, dependence is 1 over R with uh, the phase uh, delay e to the minus jkr and actually e to the minus jkr over 4 pi r uh, represent actually a spherical wave uh, propagating from the source. Sine theta in this case represents the angular dependence of both electric and magnetic fields on theta. Another interesting observation is that uh, the electric and magnetic fields are orthogonal in terms uh, of ve vectorially since one theta and one phi are orthogonal in space. And the ratio between E and H is called also the characteristic impedance denoted by eta equal to square root of uh, mu over epsilon of the medium. This impedance is equal to 377 ohms in free space. The orthogonality between uh, the magnetic and electric field for far field approximation can be actually represented by this equation H is equal to 1R, which is the propagation of the spherical wave, multiplied vectorially by the electric field and divided by the characteristic impedance. Conceptually, <clears throat> Uh, the radiative far field for uh, a finite length L dipole, which is an extension actually of uh, the elementary dipole with current, uh, with arbitrary current distribution, IZ prime, can be considered as a superposition of the fields from all the elementary dipoles which make the entire uh, current distribution here we can actually get the total electric field by integrating the, this electric field over all the dipoles, elementary dipole, which make up the entire finite length dipole. And this can be expressed by this integral. What's interesting to note here is actually, if we denote k cosine theta by u, we get here uh, in the integral, under the integral, a Fourier transform. Therefore, the electric field actually for far field approximation is proportional to the Fourier transform of the current distribution. And all that, of course, is multiplied by sine theta, which is actually representing the uh, uh, radiation pattern or the angular dependence of an elementary dipole and e to the minus jkr over 4 pi r, which actually represents the spherical uh, nature of uh, the dipole in far field. J omega here in frequency domain actually is translated into the time domain to derivative with time. And this is actually, we can actually see uh, the same uh, conclusion uh, that, we, uh, uh, that we derived previously.